Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. My name is Emilio and today we're gonna to be talking about VPN. We're gonna specifically go through the steps on how to set up your own VPN account or your own VPN service. But before we do that, please remember as always to subscribe, clicking on the notification bell there to be kept up to date with all of my video releases. So VPN is very, very important, especially this day and age when cybersecurity is such a big thing and individuals and businesses are getting compromised in higher numbers than ever. Essentially VPN encrypts your traffic and sets up a dedicated connection from point A to point B over a VPN connection. We're gonna be using a service called Namecheap. In my description below, I've got a link to Namecheap, which essentially is a service that uh, provides you know, URLs, you can set up domain names, you can set up web hosting, but they also allow you to set up your own VPN with them. So in my description below, I've got a link to let you go and get VPN for free for one whole month. So you can try it and see how amazing it is. Definitely recommend it. So click on that link to go and navigate to there. So let's just now cross over to my computer right now. We're gonna log in. I'm on a Mac. It doesn't really matter if you're on Mac or Windows. We're now gonna go ahead and register a VPN with Namecheap through my description below. So let's cross over to my computer right now. So once you've clicked on that link, you're redirected to the Namecheap website to be able to set up your VPN service. Now, as it says right here, that VPN is a secure, ultra reliable solution for everyday internet use. And it's not only great for you privately using VPN at home, but it's actually even better when you are in a public space. So it ensures that you know, say if you're in a McDonald's or you're in a hotel or wherever you may be, uh, that your Wi-Fi traffic is actually encrypted and secure because you are using a VPN. Now, there are a few different options around here around the choose your plan. Now, I I use VPN all the time. So I recommend getting a plan rather than trying it for a month. It's definitely good for you to try it for a month first so you can see what it does and, and ensure that it does you know do what you want it to do. But um, going forward, I would recommend to have a VPN as a, as a good practice for everyday use anyway. So that anytime you're on the internet, connect to your VPN and you're ensuring that your connection is secure and encrypted and your network is uh, protected. So you can select a three year plan right here, a one year plan if you just wanna try it for a year, a dollar 43, this is Australian dollars, uh, or you can try it monthly for zero uh, dollars for the first month, 100% off. So what we'll do is just so that if we can show you the demo right here, we're gonna go and create a free monthly subscription after the first month, you will then be charged month by month. Now, because this is the first time that we are gonna be setting this up, you'll need to create an account with Namecheap. So if you don't have an account, sign up right here. Throw in your details, your first name, last name, your email, your desired username and password, ensuring that they are unique and that your password is uh, complicated. Uh, and also if you wanna receive their newsletter and marketing communication, which could be of interest to you, and then sign up. So here's an overview letting you know that you're gonna be setting up a VPN Unlimited for a one month subscription at zero dollars, which is excellent. Uh, but then you will have to input your credit card details or something similar, PayPal for example, uh, so that after the one month, if you do choose to continue, which is of course recommended, uh, you do have some sort of payment method right there. Because I already have PayPal and I've got security around my PayPal, I'm gonna select PayPal. Otherwise you can select your credit card and input your credit card details into here. If you're selecting PayPal, it'll redirect you to the PayPal login page. You input in your email and your password. Once the payment has gone through, it'll say thank you for your subscription and you can now download VPN for all of these devices. So it really depends on if you're running an Android device, Windows, iOS, or Mac, the version that you will be downloading. So because I'm on a Mac, we're gonna download the Mac OS version just to show you the demo, but it's really the same sort of process across Mac and Windows iOS and Android will be slightly different because of course they'll require you to set that up on your phone or tablet device. Now once you have VPN configured say on your Mac, you can also use those same credentials across other devices such as your iPhone. So I'm gonna go ahead and download the app for my Mac OS installation, install. Within my finder, I've now got the name cheap VPN application. You will download your own application on Windows or iOS or the Android device and we just open it up. So right up here, I've now got an icon which resembles the icon of the Namecheap VPN. 
clicking on this, and now it'll ask me to sign in. The sign in details will be the details that you set up when you created your Namecheap VPN account. So input your username and input your password and select sign in. So the login page should disappear. If I go back up to my icon, you'll see that it's now giving me a little bit of overview around my privacy, uh, telling them that it's their top priority, et cetera, et cetera. And if you're okay with that, we can say, I understand. So once logged in, it'll show you your Wi-Fi that is connected and this is the Wi-Fi network. It's gonna give me an option here to connect to VPN straight from there. In the top right hand corner, I've got some configuration settings that I can go and actually enable my VPN to be always turned on or not. If I so choose to have it on, let's say my Mac or my computer or my phone powers on, whatever it may be, uh, you can also sign out and there's other terms and conditions here as well. And you've also got best available. We're gonna click on this little arrow to the left up the top. So uh, you can connect a VPN to a particular country, uh, which is actually quite good. I mean, I'm in Australia, so I may wanna connect into my Australian VPN. But one thing that VPN does let you do is it you establish a secure encrypted connection to a particular location and you essentially are granted an IP address for that location. So for example, if you're watching Netflix, I'm in Australia, I've got Netflix Australia. Uh, if I log into the United States down here, and then I connect to Netflix through my computer while I'm on this VPN, I'll then be able to access the United States Netflix service. So that is actually quite a helpful service uh, and something that you should be aware of. Australia, I'm going to say allow, and now my VPN is connected. It shows you my IP address that I've now got, which is now my VPN IP address. So if I open up system preferences on my Mac and I can select the network settings there on my Mac, I can manually now see the details around my VPN connection. So it, it actually has created a VPN connection on the system preferences, which is right here. You'll see that it has the server address as well as the account name. And these are the details that you essentially can now use across other devices. So if you've got say your VPN set up on your Mac, you can also pick up your iPhone and configure VPN on your iPhone or your Android device using the server address and the account name and the password that you used earlier. And then to simply disconnect, you just click on disconnect and then that removes your VPN connection and you're now back to using your local connection in a standard unencrypted form. So as I did say, this is for a month for free, um, but I would highly, highly recommend continuing to use the service post one month uh, because VPN is one of those things that you have to have it, especially nowadays when cybersecurity is such a big thing. Uh, it's very, very important that your data is secure, that your data is encrypted. So that was the simple step. Steps. Hopefully you've now got VPN up and running. If you don't and you're going to be doing it after this video, remember to click on the description below to get one full free month of VPN usage through Namecheap. But that's it for now. Please like, comment on this video if you found it helpful. If you have any even trouble or you were successful, let me know in your comments. As always, remember to subscribe, clicking on the notification bell to be kept up to date with all of my video releases. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.